Thyristors are often used to turn the load on and off. They're used for light bulbs, coils, relays, motors. Unlike transistors, thyristors have two stable states. It is on state when the thyristor resistance is minimal, and the off state when the thyristor resistance is maximum. To turn the thyristor on its gate, it is enough to supply control voltage shortly. To turn the thyristor off, one can power off the thyristor for a short time, change supply voltage polarity, and decrease the load current below the thyristor holding current. As a rule, the thyristor switches turn on and off by two buttons. One button thyristor control scheme is used infrequently. Let us examine a simple control circuit thyristor switch scheme as an example. In the scheme buttons without fixed position are used. Initially, normally closed button contacts bypass thyristor control circuit. The thyristor resistance is maximum. No current flows through the load. To turn the thyristor on, press button. In this case, the load is connected to a power source. Capacitor C1 is charged through resistor R1. The charge rate is determined by R1 C1 time constant. When the button is released, the capacitor discharges to the thyristor gate. If the voltage it in it equals or exceeds the thyristor switch on voltage, the thyristor is unlocked. The load can be switched off by short time button clicking. Moreover, capacitor C1 does not have time to recharge. Since button contacts bypass electrodes and out cathode, it means that the thyristor power supply is disabled. As a result, the load is off. Therefore, to enable the load, it is necessary to press the control button for a long time. To turn it off, briefly press the same button again.